Children learn a lot in school, but when they're back home, they just want to enjoy themselves. So how can we continue their learning experience while making sure they also have fun? Visits to zoos, museums and aquariums are a good place to start. As well as being a fun day out, they can also be very educational. Hello there. Hi, could you tell me the price for family ticket, please? No problem. That will be 31 euro, please. And what price would it be individually for? So one adult and then four children would be 37.55. I'll take a family ticket, please. Now that actually includes a souvenir guidebook, all right? And we also have these colour-coded questions for around the centre. I think the children will enjoy doing them. All right, thank you. So it's 31 euro there, please. Take another one of these That's catalogs no as well, please. Just an extra four euro there, please. That's two, three. <laughs> That's a two. Very good. Can I give that in there now? Yeah. Thank you. This is the entrance here, girls, and we're going to go to there, the octopus, and cockle shell cove, and work our way around to the rivers of the world. It's a question here now for our cards. How many species of fish are there in the world? Twenty-one thousand. 1 million, 10, or over 100,000. And we have to look for the answer nearby. Red! 21,000, so it was red. Did we scratch the right one? Yes. Oh, very good. Reading and listening aren't the only ways in which children learn. The more senses they use, the more likely they are to remember things. Now, do you guys know how many legs crabs have? Yep. Ten. Ten. Very good, yep. Yeah, exactly. Because when these guys are only babies, they actually don't have any claws here. They just have another pair of legs. They grow the claws later on. Do you remember the kind of the creature that Nemo and Marlon lived inside? Had lots yeah. of tentacles? Well, this is one of these guys just here. Okay. Anemones. Anemones, exactly. Yep. Yeah, sea anemones. Now, what the clownfish do is they live inside these around the tentacles, not on these ones, and bigger anemones, okay? It's okay, they don't sting, yeah, okay? They do sting, game. but actually they're so small that we can't even feel them stinging. Oh, See? Oh. Can you feel it? No, I heard it. <laughs> okay? This guy is a giant spiny starfish. But all common starfish have five legs. Now, if you look at this guy here, he only has three. If they feel threatened then anyway, they can actually attach their oh, own legs, take their own legs off and leave them there. Achilles. Say a big fish might want to eat a starfish, the starfish will take one of his legs off, leave it there and escape when there's four left. In about two to three weeks, he'll grow his leg back. So starfish are famous for being able to regenerate any part of the body whatsoever, whatever it is, they can grow back. Games are a great way to make a day trip more enjoyable. They can help children become more observant, sharpen their minds and help them figure out things by asking useful questions. See, there's four different types of fish in this tank. Right? Okay. Now, the first one is called a smooth hound. The second is a starry, starry. smooth hound. <laughs> we have a nurse hound and we have a ballon rat. So can we see, can we see any starry smooth hounds in there? They're, they're like the ones that look like a shark, but they've got spots, like stars on them. There he is over there, look. Look, he's see over him? there at the ship. That's the starry smooth hound. Oh, look at him, isn't he very big? And the experience doesn't have to end after you've left. By discussing what you saw and encouraging the children to draw pictures, write a story or even look up more information online, you can help them remember what they've learned on a great day out.